As growing up, I remember is uh, gathering the plants, minerals, and insects uh, my parents used to use for their, to color their weaving materials. As we hike up the, above the village, up on the hills, my parents would tell me stories about each dye plant and how um, these plants provide colors for their weaving materials and the meanings of these plants and also the medicinal purposes my mom used to use to cure us as growing up. That connection with their Mother Earth, that connection with my ancestors and their beliefs and what was inherent to us was very important to me. That one of the things that really um, caught my attention and stayed with in my mind and in my soul. Por fin gotear la vergüenza sin vengolas na. My name is Porfirio Gutierrez. I'm a descendant of native people, the Zapotec from Teotitlan del Valle, the place of gods. At 12 years old, my father taught me how to weave. I remember one afternoon I sat down, my, my dad told me to we needed to, to talk and we needed to sit down a little bit. And he told me, he explained to me the responsibility of being a weaver. He told me that um, my ancestors started this art form more than 2,000 years ago. And his commitment with cre keep creating or keep that tradition alive. And what he wanted to do is he wanted to inherit that to me and teach me how to weave. But he wanted me to understand the responsibility of being a Zapotec weaver. Always respect our Mother Earth, our ancestors, our beliefs, and the people that come to our house and appreciate our work. And that's where my journey began with the threads, with the dyes, and the loom. And as the time passes, I start to weave in more intricate designs, understanding more about the symbols, the color choice, color combination of an each design, the connection you have with the plants, with our Mother Earth, and dyeing the yarn, that aroma that this plant produces. And once it gets to the loom, the loom helps me bring these pieces alive and keep teaching me what I could do, what, are, what, what will be my next process, because it's not me that dictates what I need to do. It's, my, it's our Mother Earth, it's my ancestors through the symbols, it's the creation of the loom. These are all hand-woven hand hand pieces. So those are the things that tells me what I'm allowed to do. Through my pieces, I always like to express the spiritual connection that I have with the greater being, my ancestors, the way they overview universe. I always imagine that and relate that to my life today and the way I overview the the universe I live in today. The sacred seed, corn and beans, lighted candles as an offering to those greater beings. It's always expressed in my work. The cycle of life where each step represents each stages of our lives. The fertility symbols. Those are the connections I have with my ancestors and in my work. To me, it's always need to be present. The symbols needs to tell the story of my ancestors in this modern world I'm part of today.